Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, it's your boy Miles Cunningham. What's going on? All right, shout out to Lucario, shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody that supports the movement, everybody that cop the t-shirt, all the people yet to cop the t-shirt, you feel me? Um, yeah, man. People say they like they like the uh, they like the they like the scene, so I'm I'm you know I'm gonna hit y'all with the scene. You feel me? See the fucking rainbow. That shit is fire. Anyway, um, so <clears throat> what I want to talk about today is don't settle for low hanging fruit. Stay focused. Stay focused. You understand what I'm saying? Stay focused. I had a friend of mine, he told me, he was like, man, if you say you want bad bitches, bro, you gotta put all your energy into fucking with bad bitches. You feel me? Or all of your all of your bitch getting energy. Because you got, you know, you gotta you gotta prioritize, obviously, right? We're not we're not gonna we're not gonna, you know, forget about our health, our wealth, our resources, you know, our you know, income you know game in general knowledge you understand but then then you also have pussy getting energy so if and if you want bad bitches you got to put all your pussy getting energy into getting bad bitches and he said <laughs> he was discussing it and he was like every time you fuck a bitch that's outside of your criteria you deviate in front of the plan you feel me and I, and I was like yo my man i feel you you know what i mean like you're deviating from the plan and you're what you also what you're doing is you're you're changing the picture in your mind and you're, and you're tricking your mind and telling your mind that the low hanging fruit is acceptable right the, the chicks that don't meet your requirements are accept are acceptable and that's and that's and that's for anything because you got some niggas they don't give a fuck they want a bad bitch she gotta be she gotta be as bad as kim kardashian right uh, side note, you see what fucking with a bitch like Kim Kardashian can do to your mind. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> um, shout out to Kanye. Feel better, bro. I hope you, I hope you, whatever you trying to do, I hope you get it together, man. Feel, for real. Anyway, um, then you got, you got a, a dude like me where it's like, she ain't gotta be a super duper dime, but she gotta fucking respect me and fucking bring something to the table to benefit my shit. You understand? To, to, to fuck, she gotta earn her keep. If she want to fuck with a dude like me, because I'm quality, so you got to be quality. So that's what's important to me. So you got to stay focused, right? Specify your focus. Be specific about what you want and don't settle for low hanging fruit. Because the more and more you settle for low hanging fruit, the more and more you settle for things that are outside of your criteria is the more and more you fool your mind into thinking that these things are acceptable. You get what I'm saying? The more and more you fool your mind into thinking that, oh, it's okay. You feel me? Like one day this will happen. One day that, no, no, you got to stay focused and you got to train yourself to understand that, yo, this is what I want and this is how I want it. And if it's not happening that way, then there, something else got to happen and be, and be willing to, uh, cause we talked about delayed gratification on the reality versus expectations seminar which y'all should which y'all should really think about getting because the game that we spit on there was whoa the game we spit on there was ridiculous man but delay gratification man because you know you out there hollering at different broads approaching online swiping and matching and whatever and you meet the chick and maybe maybe you, you you're in a fucking drought and you like fuck that bro i want to I, I gotta knock something down i gotta do something and then you you get you get entangled <laughs> you get into an entanglement with a bitch that that doesn't meet your fucking requirements bro and then it's like it actually weakens you you understand it weakens you because you're like your your muscles your muscles relax your brain relaxes to think that the lack of requirement is okay but sometimes sometimes you got to be strong sometimes you got to fucking hold out Right? Sometimes you gotta be willing to delay the gratification and say, you know what? I'ma keep grinding. I'ma keep, I'ma, I'm a, you know, if, if I want bad bitches, you know what I'ma do? I'ma find my place, I'ma find myself in places where bad bitches hang out. 
I'm gonna go to more upscale situations. And I'm gonna I'm a learn, I'm gonna learn how to talk. I'm gonna learn how to socialize. I'm gonna learn how to socialize on that level. And and that's where your strength comes in. Because when you have a requirement, when you have certain things that you want that are outside of the 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 average, you have to elevate and you have to get stronger in order to be able to negotiate your way into those types of environments. You understand? But if you find yourself, you say you want a, a bad bitch, you say you want a bitch that got money, you want a six figure bitch, and but you talking to a chick that, that fucking work at Wendy's. And then the next thing you know, she giving you pussy and you start to catch feelings and fall in love with the bitch. And, and now, now you're weak. Now you're in a situation you don't want, you don't, you know, you don't really want to be in. You see what I'm saying? But that's because you 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 weren't strong enough to delay gratification till you actually found the type of chick you wanted to find. See what I'm saying? And that that's what happens to a lot of cats. A lot of a lot of a lot of married cats know what the fuck I'm talking about. Sadly, because you know hindsight is 2020, right? It's a lot of cats out there. They meet a chick where it's like, you know, and and no chick is perfect. No chick is perfect, but there's certain things that you have to you have to have a standard for. You have to require it and don't allow yourself to lose focus and and allow yourself to be weak to fucking and just accept any old thing you understand what i'm saying like because sometimes it's not even about sometimes it's not even about the acquisition of the thing it's about the the path the journey the stance the like i said elevating yourself to be able to negotiate in those you know higher quality environments that's what it's really about it's really not about necessarily getting the girl or getting the pussy or getting the money or getting the thing. It's about being able to negotiate in those quality environments. It's about bringing your 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 consciousness, bringing your your game, your mouthpiece, your resources. You know, maybe maybe in order to get a bitch that six figures, maybe you need to be making uh, seven figures, bro. You feel me? And 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 when you when you when you put your focus on that and then you elevate, you elevate. You feel me? And then that's what's most important. The elevation, the improvement, the fact that you're not the same dude you were last week. Because when you first started out with game, when you first started out listening to Lucario, you was fucking with bitches that worked that worked at Wendy's or or whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that was your level when you started. Now you fucking with chicks who they lawyers who own own their own law firm and shit, negotiating you know million dollars uh, settlements and all that type of shit. You feel me? So you're in a new space, and that's the important part: being in that new space and being able to speak the language of the people in that new space. You get what I'm saying? That's what it's really about. So a lot of times we try to get the thing, we try to get that little thing. It's not about the little thing. It's about the 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 knowledge and the new the new experience and wisdom that brought you to the environment that that new thing is in, that higher quality thing, which makes a higher quality you. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, um, shout out to everybody, man. <clears throat> really appreciate you guys. If y'all if fucking with this scenery, you know what I'm saying? Talk about it in the comments. Somebody did, you know what I'm saying? And we, I appreciate, yo, like, comment, subscribe, share, you feel me? Um, like I said, man, don't don't settle for low-hanging fruit. Stay focused and specify your focus. All right. Um, get get a you know get them get a t-shirt. I got I got another t-shirt coming too. I got another one coming, but you know I don't want to I don't want to give up everything too soon. But it's coming, it's coming. And I want y'all to know that about the t-shirts, that the art that's on the t-shirt that's original art. That's original art. I have a I have an artist that I work with out of um out of North Carolina. That's original art. So what you, you, that's not just some old clip art or stock stock art bullshit. That shit is like that shit is one of a kind shit right there. You understand? And all of these all of these items are like collector's items. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all cuz we don't know how far the, we don't necessarily know how far this thing is going to go. So I'm just letting y'all know like the shirts the you know the movie poster all of that shit is is one of a kind collectible shit you feel me because we we in a we in a small market so we you know we gotta make we gotta make our name you feel me so these things are collectors items but anyway enough of that uh like i said we really appreciate 
We appreciate you guys. Shout out to everybody that supports, everybody that calls in on the, on the show, everybody that ever bought a product, everybody that shows up to our seminars, everybody that, that was on the uh, Expectations versus Reality Seminar. Again, we really appreciate you guys. You guys keep the show going so we can keep the game flowing. You feel me? So it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. And always remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. All right? Oh, they, oh, check the birds. Oh, shit. Check the birds, nigga. See, they came in just to finish off the show. Uh, wait, where they go? Yeah, there they go. They came in just to finish off the show for y'all. You feel me? All right? Have a good day, man. Peace.